Staying hydrated and air conditioning are some of the things that teachers and students are encouraged to do in these extreme tips. And West Lauderdale High School Athletic Director Jody Hurst emphasized the same goes for athletes as well. It's a, it's a balancing act, and it makes them have to sometimes practice at different times, maybe later in the afternoon, sometimes even at night, you know, whatever, because they have to get their teams prepared for the seasons. As football season is around the corner, Coach Brock Clay and quarterback Caden Peebles mentioned the importance of safety while practicing outside. We structure our practices where water breaks are built in um, throughout the course of practice, but we also have freestanding, uh, free availability. We don't ever discriminate against any any time anybody wants to get water. It's kind of tough sometimes, but we get enough breaks and we all prepare ourselves throughout the day and throughout the week to, to be ready for that heat. Football players are not only preparing their bodies as cross-country members, Hunter Walton and Allie Walton also express how they prepare to practice in the extreme heat. Stay hydrated, drink a lot of water, yeah, eat good throughout the day, and just stretch and try to stay healthy throughout the season. We make sure to warm up, stretch to prevent any kind of injury, and we make sure to take rest days and recovery days. And one of the ways that student athletes and coaches here at West Lauderdale High School are staying safe in this extreme heat is making sure that they take plenty of water breaks and cooling breaks when needed. Jacob Atrobi, Twin States News, Meridian.